So what is canning? You're taking this course because you want to know more about it. It really has helped me understand some of the science behind it to ensure I'm doing it correctly. So the air we breathe, the water we drink, the soil, the food grows in, all contains microorganisms. So there's yeast and mold and bacteria, and it's not something we can really see with our eye. Although you can tell when something maybe starts to mold or spoil, like a strawberry has mold on it, but it's not something we normally see. So unless the food is preserved, it will spoil in some way. So like I have an apple, you know, if you peel this apple, eventually it'll start to brown and that's because the enzyme activity in this apple um, starts to break down. So if I don't do anything else to preserve it, it will brown and eventually will fully spoil and we no longer want to eat it. So it's just nice to be able to preserve your food in some way, right? So that it doesn't spoil. So one of the ways to prevent food from spoiling is to expose it to high heat for a specific amount of time. So the high heat will kill, for that specific amount of time, will kill the microorganisms and inactivate those enzymes in food that can lead to the food um, spoiling. So this process of preserving fresh or prepared foods in a glass jar with two-piece closures using high heat to destroy all those microorganisms that cause the spoilage, that is what home canning is all about. So I'm gonna use a fancy word and it's hermetic and that means to be completely airtight. So that vacuum that forms when you hermetically seal something in a jar will prevent new microorganisms from entering the jar and contaminating your food that you have preserved. So the hope is that when you properly and safely can produce at home, you're gonna interrupt that normal cycle of spoilage and you're gonna prevent decay. So having all this knowledge and following a tested and approved recipe and following all the canning steps will help you successfully can at home every time. So that is the science behind it. Hopefully that made sense, helped you understand it. And next we will learn about the different types of home canning.